previously on Shaws of Sunset. Me and my family own a few buildings together around town. If we decide to develop it and rent it, do the math. Talking about $85,000 a month. It's a million dollars in a year. I need to get divorced. Did you guys do your disclosures? OK. You haven't done the most basic paperwork. Do you have the mom or dad's name? You should let me take you out. But I'm married. You know I'm going to kiss you right now. I want 50% of his wealth. Right. But mine is mine. Do I seem like aggressive to you at all? So far, we've spent 5000 You know what the next step is? What? Our two little kids. I spent $500,000. On what? The shampoo business. Cut a lot of girls, cut a lot of checks. That's the life here on Sunset. Rich and famous, I am success. Met her at late doing, she do love sex. I'ma sip this, you do the rest. You know what you do, you do the best. Do me a favor, lose the dress. We run. I'm here. You got it. I'll be right down. All right. What's up, Playboy? What up, what up? I'm so excited that we're going to go see this property, by the way. Give me the lowdown. I bought the duplex 10 plus years ago. The house next door came onto the market, bought it out of foreclosure. I was like, let's build on it. How much to build? Four to five million dollars. But I think if I have a good general contractor. You're not good at picking them so far. <laughs> this is hideous. We did a built-in fridge so you wouldn't see this. Is he done in the bar? Uh, what's... This is a problem. My concern for you is the construction process. That's the problem. Mike has a lot of great ideas. It's going to be like a two-year project. Usually, they're planned by me. Usually, I do all the executing, and then things turn out well, like his house, for example. How do you fare with two years' worth of unknowns? Two years' worth of problems. This is a gold mine. That's great for your tenants, if anyone needs appliances. Yeah, right here. I take it you guys don't do a lot of landscaping here. When I rented this place, I said, Security, gated entrance. <laughs> I bought this property 11 years ago in a down market. This area has become one of the fastest growing areas of Los Angeles. Back here is going to be like a little dog run. The view here is going to be sick. You know, Sunset Boulevard's right there. Damn. I mean, this is something that's going to feed my children's children, and it's going to live on forever. And one day, my grandchildren will put my portrait on top of their uh, mantle and say, that was my grandpa Mike. Mike Manor. 1,000% sell it. Why? What are you talking about? Why? Take your money and go reinvest it. Bro. Why are you going to give up years of your life? Years of creating something that can pay me and my family and my children for years and years and years and years to come. It scares the living daylights out of me to think that my friend, whose nerves are frayed, as it is, managing a four, five, six million dollar project, it's a lot. I would get to the point where you're about to start building up, right? But put it on the market. And if someone is willing to pay the premium required to get a project that's ready to roll, you sell it to them. But if you don't see the numbers you want to see, you move forward. It's, it's, pretty, it's pretty dope that, you know, and how cool that it's a family thing. Yeah. Regardless of what direction you guys go with this, everyone, Nusha Jun, is going to be eating from this thing. It's great. I, I'm so happy for you. Thanks, sir. You never know. Mike may end up surprising all of us by dedicating himself to building this building and really transforming himself at the same time. I have a funny feeling I'm going to end up on that job site a lot, but I will do it with a smile on my face without being resentful. I promise you that. Get that money, player. I'm trying, man. Ready? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Are you happy? I'm delighted. I'm thrilled. I'm chafing already. Chafing where, like, in between your ass cheeks? Yeah, pretty much. 
Hi. Hi. Hello. How are you? Nice to see you. Nice to see you again. I am the Susan B. Anthony of Prenuptial Agreements. I am rewriting the laws in California to favor the woman. You are welcome. Thank you. Hello. Hi, how so do you nice do? to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Hi, Tommy. Thank you. Hey. Good to see you. I will not get hoodwinked today. Do I look like I came from the village behind the town? Nice to have a friendly face in here. <laughs> I'm not Justin Bieber, and I'm not Rosa Farahan. There will be a prenup. My face is pretty friendly. I know, I'm just saying. He's just joking. OK, so I think you guys are ready to sign your prenup. We're going to leave you for a second just to talk about any last minute things you might want to discuss. OK. And if you have questions, let us know. OK. OK, okay we shall. OK. It's a pretty big step. You ready? I mean, I'm ready because I think that this prenuptial agreement benefits me. Yeah, it does. It does. It does. Basically, you barely get to walk off with a shirt on your back. Yeah. Right? But that's all I, if it don't work, that's all I would ever want, babe, shirt on my back. I just want you to have the peace of mind. Nothing's ever going to happen. I'm not ever going anywhere. We're going to be together forever. Death till us heart. One of us will probably kill the other before we get divorced. Is that in the prenup? No. That's probably why she took out the thing about the testicles. So I do appreciate you being amenable to my terms. OK. But if you leave me for some secretary, I will kill her, and I will kill you. And you will walk around the world without a penis. You might not have me, but you also won't have that. OK. OK. <laughs> but uh, yeah, man, I mean, let's sign it. Let's rock and roll. Women of the world. Ask for everything that you think is fair. And if you're a woman, then to finish the episode, click here. To subscribe, click here. And to watch more, click here.